All right, you want to see the second secret set of Monopoly rules. So the reason I didn't outline them in detail in my last video is because you can't really play them with a modern Monopoly board, but let's have a look. So the inventor of the forerunner to Monopoly, a lady called Lizzie Magee, she was a big fan of an economist called Henry George. The game is built to teach his principles. Very briefly, Henry George believed that all natural resources should be held in common. The only one you can't really hold in common is land, because we've already built on it, that ship has sailed. So you should tax people not based on their income or what they buy, but how much land they are. Monopoly is originally created to show the benefits of this system. So in her 1906 rule book, Lizzie Magee says, look, if you play this game, you'll notice that as soon as someone's got a monopoly on the land, it's game over for everyone else. It'd be much better to have a single tax system. So a lot of these rules don't make sense today because they're based on squares that don't exist anymore. Like the gee whiz railroad. But basically, when you land on a square, instead of paying solely rent money to the person who owns it, you also put some money into a common pot, the public treasury. When the public treasury has enough money, it buys the utilities and the railroads. After that, it spends its pot on increasing the amount of money you get when you pass go, meaning that everyone gets better wages. 